Hello, my name is Joyce, and I will be doing a step by step lesson on how to create an ebook through pages while incorporating videos simply by screen recording. So, for this project, I will be making an eight parts of speech review book and incorporate some retro music by Schoolhouse Rocks. So if you don't know who they are, Schoolhouse Rock is an American programming series of animated musical educational short films. So I grew up with Schoolhouse Rock and I actually learned to perfect my grammar through their music. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm making a quick review book for my students. So let's get started. So to start making an ebook, we have to go to our different templates of the books. So I was using this lesson book. You can see the different formats they're using. This works best for me. And I probably want to take out the picture and just use this. So I'll show you my pre-made book. This is it. Then I incorporated the images. So I found images like this on Safari. So this is the image I downloaded from Safari. It is a PNG or a transparent picture of their logo. And that's what I used to incorporate here. But for this picture, this was not transparent. So I'll just show you quickly how I uh, worked it. So this is the original photo that I saved from Safari. What you want to do if you want to get rid of the blue background of a certain picture. This works better because the blue is all around it. Okay, let's take a closer look. Uh, you go to the paintbrush. Okay, go to image, instant alpha, and all you do is just drag across the colors you want to make transparent. So everything blue. Right, done. And then there you have it. Okay, so I placed mine down here. Second page is this. And then this is going to be the first lesson. So this is what it looks like on pages. Okay, I put in a video. I drew the noun words with my Apple Pencil and this image right here. And then I just added all the text. So I want to show you what it looks like as an ebook version. Okay, so this is the ebook version. Okay, so the very short clip. The goal of making it short is for them to be able to go through it quickly. We go to the second page, which now I tackle common and proper noun. Again, I incorporated just using the text box and everything here in the yellow part. It's what I just wrote on. Now, what we want to do is we want to make the next page, which is very raw. So you can see on the ebook, all I have is the word pronouns. So I'll show you how I put everything together. Now we go back to the pages file. I want to show you how I made this pronoun title. So using my Apple Pencil, I'm just simply going to draw. You could draw anywhere on the page. So let me just draw on this clean sheet and show you. It just gives it a nice personalized touch. So the nice thing about this is you could just simply put it on top of pictures. When we want to add a video, we simply go on YouTube and search for the video that you wish to use. Alright, this is the video I want to use. When you want to screen record, you want to make sure that you record a video on full screen and you make sure that you turn off the microphone of your uh, screen recording. Tap on it and then start recording your screen. All right, so I already have a copy of this video and we could just jump onto my photos and take a look at the full video. Um, if you just wanna cut out parts, you could just edit the video here on Photo. All right, and that's all I want. I could just go ahead and trim the original video. So let's just say I want to put three different clips together. I go on to iMovie. 
okay and I want to cut out parts of the song uh, split it and it it's a lot easier to use when you're using so. the Apple Pencil who, what, and which has special pronouns that can ask a question in a sense where you do not know the name of the noun but I know I have mine and again so I'll split that and then I'll go straight to the ending okay so I know I want to cut out this part of the song I'll split this and I could delete this clip don't worry if you made a mistake you could just undo it or you could simply restretch a video it goes back to the full size of the video and I want to end there okay. and, your, and maybe add a fade out so add it on settings fade out to black turn that on and fade out to black okay so when you're done editing the video on iMovie you could simply export it save the video and save it as in whatever format you want and it goes straight to your photos now just to check we have our video down here yes we go back to pages And we're ready to add our videos, okay, which I already have over here. And then if you want to, you could add um, you could add borders if you would like. So I like borders. So it looks like I drew around it as well. And then I could probably put the image on the right side. So I intend to put two videos together and then have them do a little exercise as well. So for this, I think I would just be needing um, one bullet. So I'll get rid of the others. And then maybe change this image. I want to use a question mark over here. And then start writing the things that I want. So what, what is a pronoun? So I want to just say, okay, listen to video one and fill in the blank of the lyrics below. So now what I want them to do is I want them to be able to listen to the song. And my name's Albert Andrea Samadilla. No. And then to just fill in the blanks. It's just a good way for them to be able to learn the song. And the goal is for them to learn the song and learn the definition of a pronoun as well. For my second video, I could do the same thing and maybe a little bit of an exercise. Okay, so I have my second video here. So my activity says, on a worksheet, create a table like the one below. So now I have to add a table. Okay, so now what I want is, I probably want to make sure that there's enough room in my table. Since this is just an example, my goal is to just let them see what, what it is is that I want them to do on a worksheet. You know, I could ask them to do it on a piece of paper and they can turn that in, or I could ask them to use it um, on numbers and let them email or airdrop it to me. Okay, and I probably want them to just write, um, you know, the names of the people. So I'll go ahead and write that out. And the pronouns that they use to replace the nouns. All right. Okay, so now I want to be able to export. And let's just say we have our book ready. You can check the pages by swiping on the left side of the iPad. Check the pages. If you would like to add more, you could just go ahead and add a page. Um, or if you would like to move a page, so you could just hold on it long and then drag it up or down. So, you know, let's put it back here. That looks quite nice. Um, and now let's export. So go to this three dots here, upper right side, and export our file. We want to export this as an EPUB. Okay, change the author. So let's just say Miss Joyce. And if you could use a book cover if you want, or you could use an image. So I could probably use the images I've had, but since you know I'm quite happy with my first the first page book cover so I'll just export it as that 
And then from here, you want to save it, copy it to iBooks, or you could save it to your Dropbox, or save it as a file, or so, because I want to take a look at it, I'll save it and copy it on iBooks. Okay, there it is. The latest one. So this is our book, Table of Contents. We This is what we saw earlier, checking the videos. Yeah. Okay, our next page. And this, this is what we just made. Okay, so this is our video. And my name is Albert Andre of right. And then the activity. Now I can tell you Raffaella, Gabriella, and Rufus Xavier Sasparilla and Albert Andre of Samadilla found an art book. I'm really quite happy that Pages incorporated a way for us to make an ebook so that you could maximize the use of the iPad. Screen recording just makes getting videos from YouTube a lot easier and putting it all together. Uh, and the pencil makes it easier for us to be able to draw directly on. So, okay, that's how you make an ebook from Pages. Thanks so much for watching.